Yeah, Monica, this has the state investigating. Right now, the DNR is awaiting test results after pulling the bodies of seven swans and sending them off to a lab. They were pulled right here from a lake in Waterford. It doesn't take long to find a bevy of mute swans on Macy Day Lake in Waterford. They're not a native species to Michigan, but over time they've kind of taken a foothold. And yeah, they are territorial. Territorial and downright mean at times. There's been jet skiers that have been, you know, attacked by mute swans through the years or uh, they move off other waterfowl. They're just, they're just a bird that really likes to have it all of their own. But lately, the bodies of dead swans have been found in yards and shallow waters of people living on the lake. And it's grabbed the attention of the state's Department of Natural Resources. I know our officers retrieved seven. Some of them were in really bad decay, so some had probably been floating a little longer than some of the others. Those seven are just the ones the DNR has collected over the past two weeks. Others in the area have found more, possibly adding up to at least 12 dead mute swans this year alone. One person even paid to have a dead swan tested for poison. From the initials on that, that it was saying it was antifreeze. So uh, hopefully that's not the case. Um, but if it is, if we can get any tips on that, we sure would follow up on it. Which is why the DNR is doing its own round of testing on the seven mute swans they've collected. A toxicology report can also be ran on the specimen and we can determine from that, hopefully, whether these were poisoned or if it was a natural cause. While they await the results of those tests, they're hopeful someone with information will come forward. My plea is to the public that's around this at Mesa Day Lake. I mean, if someone is poisoning these, if that's really what's going on, if, if anybody can call in to give any kind of information they might have on this. Now, the state isn't the only one looking into this. PETA, the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, is offering up a $5,000 reward for any information that may lead to an arrest in this case, if and indeed it is found that somebody is poisoning the swans. Reporting live in water for Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Dave, any idea when they expect to have the results back from those tests? Yeah, I'm told that the DNR sent those to a test lab at MSU, and depending on their caseload, they hope to have that back as soon as next week, but it could take longer. And they told me as soon as those results do come in, they'll give me a call.